Yo, it's good, Lock em Up Nation. Now, there isn't one best jump shot because if there really was, everyone would be using that same jump shot. But as we all know, that's not how it works. I already did a best jump shot in a top three, but in honor of me joining top five, I am doing a top five best jumpers. I'm about to get right into it. But I have a series called How 2K Calls Me Legend, which takes place during the Puma slash Dying Time slash Dunk Fest weekend. We all know how that weekend went. It was crazy. It's a mixture of GTA roleplay and 2K. It's basically a story of my mind player and how 2K just makes him go so crazy that he actually seeks a personal therapist. He's deranged. He's crazy. I'm about to play the trailer. And then right after the trailer, we're getting into the jump shots. I'm going to leave a timestamp either in this corner or that corner. I don't know, whichever one I see fit. So, if you don't want to see the trailer, you can just skip ahead and right to the jumpers. But if you do that, you're going to miss a green release to win the game. And you're going to wind up losing. I would not risk it. So watch the trailer. 2K has cheated us all before. Lie to us. Giving us the same neighborhood, and lying, saying that it wasn't. Giving us Puma, and taking it away. Letting contested shots go in, white. RNG pickpocket steals. It makes us all go really crazy, to where we all need therapy. So I actually went out and got me a therapist. Dr. Rubitussin. What's been up with you that you call me in today? After the last Puma, Ronnie gave me this penthouse for hitting Superstar 1. For once he wasn't captain. You'd think that'd keep me out of trouble. But no. The complete opposite. Duh. 2K just makes me so angry. I kill people and I feel no remorse. Maybe I should get a better therapist and maybe I can be better. Jim, did you want a pattern game pool mania? And did 2K make you pass to wrap up? And then you think you're hopping on Puma or any double, triple, quadruple rep event thinking you're just gonna throw lobs, flashies, and you're gonna get all this rep but no, you play sweat after sweat and you have to try, you have to score all the points and you get no rep The fact of the matter is, I'm a superstar one, and this is the story of how 2K cost me life. Number five. Coming in at number five, we got Zach Loving. The most underrated player in the NBA in real life. Comment your thoughts about that down below. Zach Levine, you think he's just a dunker? No, that boy can shoot. He doesn't just have a good shot on 2K. He's got that wet, wet in real life. Now, you see, this isn't my footage. This is my boy, Premier TV. He gave me permission to use his footage from his jump shot video. Check him out down below. Very underrated content creator. He's on a daily upload streak since September something i want to say 23rd but he's been on a daily upload streak for a good minute so chances are he posted a video today so check him out now you might have noticed in this video zach Levine is a guard and premier is using a center to shoot now this is a great jump shot on guards as well it's mostly guards that use the first person i heard bring up this shot was grinding df and that was like the very beginning of the game when no one could hit shots but Premier, I guess he's different. He's the first person I've seen on a center using this shot. I've had people beg me in the past for center jump shots. So it appears that Zach Levine is a very good shot to try. 
Is this a common jump shot on centers, by the way? Please let me know because this is the first time that I've seen a center bring up Zach Levine. But give the shot a try. And worst case scenario, there are four jump shots ahead. The reason why it's not higher on the list is because I never used it. But it's a popular shot, so I'm taking everyone's word for it. And Zach Levine, get off the Bulls, please. Specifically, come to the Sixers. Number four. Coming in at number four, we got jump shot number 98. This was probably the best shot in the very beginning of the game. I don't have much footage of the shot because I didn't use it much. I'll explain that in a minute. G-Man, if you're seeing this, no copyright intended. You are my favorite 2K YouTuber. This is the best footage of 98 you're going to see anyway. That incredible comeback against Tysina. Now, the shot was supposedly patched, but now... I guess 2K fix it because it is green again. It's been it's been good for a good while. They slowed the shot down. And I guess they fixed the timing or whatever. But this is a super fast release. If you like really fast releases, this is the shot for you. Now it is good off the catch it, you know, whites go in. All that stuff that you want in a jump shot, 98 has got it. I mean, look at what G-Man is greening against Ticino in this footage. It is a must try if you've never tried this shot. Number three. Coming in at number three is jump shot 38. At least I think in this footage I'm using 38. If so, this is the only video I have using footage of 38. This is a very popular shot. Some say it's the fastest shot in the game, which I disagree with. Maybe there's some studies on it, but it doesn't feel the fastest to me. The fact of the matter is, I don't like it. Now, apparently I'm hearing that this ain't great for people that shoot off the dribble. I've seen statistics use it early in the year. I don't know if he still does. I haven't watched him in a while. But the point is, I don't like it, but you might like it. So give Jump Shot 38 a try. By the way, this footage is from a gameplay where we are down 20 to nothing against these tryhards in Elite 2 with a 90 win percent. I'll link that down below. Watch that after How 2K Cost Me Legend Part 1 and Part 2. You know, watch the How 2K Cost Me Legend stuff, you know, in case Part 2 is out by the time you see this. But yeah, on to the next shot. Number 2. Out of the Lakers here in the third. Kobe wants it again against Heinrich. Little step back action. Yes. Down by four. Kobe. Step back on Heinrich. Coming in at number two, we got the legend Kobe Bryant. Now, when I did my top three best jump shots after patch 10, and my best jump shot after patch 10 video, Kobe was the shot. Number one, best shot. What changed? Why is it number two? Well, I feel like they changed the shot. Now, it's still green for a lot of people, a lot of people still love it, but they did something to the shot, whether it was intentional or not, but the timing is just not the same, and I just can't get it. Like, when you don't use a shot meter, as you're seeing in these clips, you can see where the release point is to get that green, and it's not the same timing anymore. But nonetheless, many still find this to be a great jump shot. And you will most likely find this to be a great jump shot. So try it out. Worst case scenario. Hey, I don't like 38. But you might like 38. I don't like 98 anymore. You might like 98. But. If you don't like any of the shots that I've showed you thus far. You know what they say. They save the best for last. My number one pick. Oh, by the way. Make sure after this video, you check out How 2K Cost Me Legend. Link down below. It will be on the end screen. It's it's everywhere, man. It is a must watch if you like GTA roleplay and 2K gameplay all in one. On to the top pick. Number one. Dwayne Wade. The number one jump shot. Dwayne Wade. Now, this was my favorite jump shot before patch 10. Then Kobe, I don't know what 2K did to it. So I went back to D-Wade, and I love it again. It is fast. It, I think it's the fastest jump shot. I think it's faster than 38. I think it feels fast. 
It's smooth. It doesn't feel too quick. It is a beauty of a shot. If I had to rate this shot on a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate it a 9 out of 10. I mean, that's all I really have to say about it, man. Try this shot if you don't like the others. If you don't like the other four shots, I guarantee you, you will love this shot. As always, if you enjoyed, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and comment and let me know if any of these jump shots helped you out. And make sure you check out how 2K Cost Me Legend. If you're watching this on Monday, the day after this video is released, part two is out. You're going to see on the end screen, as you will see part one, the trailer, the playlist, and if you're here next week, part three is out every Monday. So part two is tomorrow. Part 3 is next week. It's part 1 of a 3 part series. There are 3 parts to this. Make sure you check them all out. I worked really hard on it. And I think you guys will enjoy it very much. Especially if you like 2K and GTA. Especially the GTA roleplay. But that's all I gotta say. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out. Peace.